All right, hello. So today we're gonna make this lamp, which is um, inspired by Hollow Knight. Um, we have this re uh, reference object, which is something we bought, so we have to accommodate ourselves to that. We have some measurements of this uh, glass bowl, right? Um, here is what it's intended for the final, um, final product. I have here as well a light bulb that is gonna serve as a reference of some dimensions. Um, actually, from another project, I already have the light bulb and the socket. Uh, the socket, I mean, like this black part, is already like designed and modeled. So we, I'm gonna bring it up from another file, and I can also share that with you. Um, so yeah, these are the references we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Blender, and uh, let's start. So first of all, I'm gonna bring out the light bulb and the um, uh, socket from the other file. So I'm gonna go file, append. I'm gonna go to desktop, tutorials. I hope I named them properly. Da -da 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 -da. Tutorials, uh, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, object. All right, all right, all right. Light bulb, yeah, good. In socket, yeah, oh my God, so organized. Love it. Let's see. Uh oh, where is it? It's supposed to be here. Light light bulb socket. So view. Frame selected. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. It was a bit on the top. Um. So here are those two things. Grab Z. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna delete the camera cube and light. I'm gonna delete those. And I'm going to uh, save this file. Desktop tutorials. I'm gonna call this start file for um, hollow lamp start file hollow lamp and I save it so that's gonna be the startup file I'm gonna give that to whoever wants it uh, but also I'm gonna save it again and this is gonna be the one I'm gonna be working on it's gonna be called hollow lamp all right and it's gonna be working um, great so I got these two things which are in precise dimensions, 38, 38, 58. These are millimeters. So everything we work on from now on are millimeters. Also, it's gonna be um, pre-printed and that's how it like exports, like meters in Blender when you uh, just open Blender, um, translate into millimeters. Now, let me set up a song for myself. All right, good. Now, uh, let's see the reference images. Okay, let's make the bowl. I think the bowl is the most important thing right now. So it says 70, 125, 144. All right, all right, we can work with that. Mm, I'm gonna um, close them and I'm gonna do front view. Oh, you know what? I have to turn on these screencast key so here you, you you're gonna be able to see uh, what do I do in order to to see the different views this music is distracting me I need another kind of music okay no this is good so um, if you hit the l l number one and nothing happens then you should go to uh, edit preferences key map no navigation no input input yeah emulate numpad right and yep, that's how you make uh, your, your, your numbers, the one that are above your keyboard to actually move your camera into front, right, top, whatever. So, shift A, curve, Bezier. Where the heck is my curve? Well, if you go to seven top view and you zoom in like a lot, you're gonna see a little curve. I'm gonna scale it up. I'm gonna rotate it in X90. I'm gonna go to front now. And I'm going to make like a general um, shape of the um, 
lamb. I mean, of the bowl. I, I don't care too much right now about dimensions. I'm going to care about that later. So if I select these little knot, remember this is a curve, so I can select the, the handlers or the actual node of the curve. Handler, node. Um, in this case, this node is x1. I'm going to go to um, 0. Yep. And this one, I want it to be straight, so I'm going to click V, vector, um, grab in Z. I'm going to bring it up. This is my curve so far. It's, it's sometimes it's complicated to like, oh, why, why are they two lines? Well, you know, this is like, um, wait, what? Why is he? Oh, all right. I'm going to command Z because the origin is stayed behind. There you go. And I'm going to, no, actually, you know what? I'm going to move it. Great. Um, So interesting. Uh, all right. Global opinion point. Oh, that's better. Yeah, I had this change. Let's change this to median point. Uh, all right. So I just move it. I'm gonna grab this node. I'm gonna scale it. Now you can see like here's one node. Here's the other node. And these are the handlers that if I move, um, they alter my curve, right? Right, right, right? Yeah. I'm going to grab this node, the one that is a bit more to the left, and I'm going to extrude like here in Y. I want it to be 0, right? I'm going to grab this handler, and I'm going to like move it, right? I'm going to grab the node. I'm going to say V, automatic, so the whole thing like moves this as well Grab. all right so that's like the general shape of the bowl it's not precise definitely uh, but it's a start now let's measure it so i'm gonna stay here in my front view right i'm gonna bring out my ruler and i'm gonna bring out a ruler just like i did right now here's a ruler right it's really important to use rulers in a fixed um plane like in a fixed view because if you don't like it becomes just like a three-dimensional ruler, which we don't want. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this end. I'm gonna press Control to make it snap. It snap, and it's 29. Mm, not what I need. What do I need, by the way? I need 70. So half of that was gonna be 35. So just a bit more. So I'm gonna grab this node. Grab in X. I know, I know this is not the most precise way of doing things, but... 34, oh, almost there. <laughs> Grab. Oh, I have an idea. Well, okay, so there are two ways of doing this. Well, this is a great song. Um, 34, nope. Grab in X. So, okay, just to be clear, when I grab the node, I'm using right click. In your case, you're gonna be using left click. And then I try to grab the ruler with uh, left click. You're going to have to do both with the same thing. I hope it doesn't make it hard. Um, if you're having issues with the ruler, just grab it from the other side and you can delete it. Oh, you can delete it. I'm pretty sure you can delete it. Oh, yeah, with X. With X. You can delete it with X and then just bring a new ruler. And that's it. 36. No! So you can go little by little and just measure it. That's one way. The other way is grabbing this thing, this node, Grab in X. Okay, wait. Turn on the snapping vertex. So it snaps to vertex. Grab this node. Grab in X and make it snap. And then grab in X 35. Oh. Negative. Well, you can see what I'm doing right here. Um, and then that would make it like precise, right? Now. I want to measure the middle point. So I'm going to bring my ruler here, kind of to the middle. Okay, so, okay, wait, wait. The, the, the tallness of my, of my, the, the, the height of my, of my ball is 125. So that's something we can do. I can grab, okay, there are two ways of doing it. Grabbing the ruler, 
being kind of precise, I'm putting it here in the center, right? And then grabbing this one, 125. So what I can do is I can bring that thing, 125. Yeah, like that. And then I grab these two nodes, grab in Z, and then I try to put it there. That's one way of doing it. The other way would be grabbing Z, make it snap to this, to whatever point I have here at the bottom. And then, actually, I can do zero. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Um, grab in Z125. That's the other way of doing it. Uh, okay, 144 is the actual, like, um, the actual, like, maximum uh, width. 144 divided by half would be 72, like that. Um, and here I can grab this, grab, grab, something I forgot to, to measure was the opening hole of the bowl. And for that, I can just grab the ball, which I have right here, and measure it. It's it's 90, 97. 90, 90, 75. 97.5, 97.5. So I can grab this thing, say, hey, you know what, in X, go back to zero. And then grab in X, 97.5 divided by two. Oh, we can do that. We can just say 97.5 uh, divided by two. No, it didn't work. Don't, don't, don't try that at home. Um, but, or I can just use my calculator. 97.5 divided by two, 48.75. Grab x 48.75 negative. There you go. Now, the 72, I, I now I can try to like match it. I mean, the curve it's hard to be precise, but I mean, it's just like a, an idea of the actual shape. I think that's good, right. Now, since the origin is stood, is state is stood, stood here in the center, what I can do now is uh, screw it. <laughs> That's the word of the operation, like to screw something, uh, which I didn't mean as mess up, just screw. And then I say, why? Yep, it works. Um, it's pretty like low resolution, so I can just, um, do 32 steps. That's better. Awesome. Now we can picture this as the inner. I, okay, you can do the thickness and whatever, but I don't think that's like very much needed. Or should we do it? All right, all right. Maybe we should do it. So the thickness uh, we measure is 2.88 millimeters. All right, all right, all right. So we can add another modifier called solidify in which I can grow it a bit. Now you might say, well, just put the number here, Francisco. Well, it's not that simple because one would mean, I don't know what it would mean, but zero would mean that like nothing. And minus one would mean like this, like it's, it's, it's around proportions. It's not around actual like, wait, or is it? Let's try. Maybe I'm wrong. So if those are meters, if I do 0.288, all right, no, that's too much. What if I do 0 0.028? There's only one way to figure out. Let's measure the thickness. I think it's going to be from here to here. Let's see. Mm. 
No, no, it didn't work. Okay, so it should be around 2.88. That's like a lot. Is it that thick? Uh, whatever. Two point. But you know what? It should go towards the outside because I, the whole measurement was from the inside. So it should be 2.88. I feel like it's too much. Anyway, just a reference. And if we mess it up, so that's that, that's the inner. Oh, now you see I messed up. So this is the inner wall. So oh, I messed it up again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring out a new ruler from here to 2.88, 2.88. There you go. And now. Oh, I turn on this thing again. There you go. There you go. All right, there it is. Oh, okay, so now there's a th thickness. I can change select view object clean up reach bodies. Okay, shade flat. No, shade smooth. Didn't change. Anyway, I want to delete that ruler. There you go. Um, okay, I got that thing done. Now let me, I'm gonna turn on the, the light bulb and the um, and the socket. Now, as you can see, it's, it's gonna be kind of like, what's the word? Um, it's gonna be kind of fit inside, like like tight inside. Now, I think we have to worry about the base, but I, I like this design, it's gonna make it simple. All right, all right, we can do this, people, we can do this. Um, we got the ball, we got the socket. Let's just make a, a base, super simple base that matches the energy that we're getting from this ball. Uh, Shift-C to make sure the cursor is in the center. Shift-A, mesh, UV sphere, S to make it bigger. S in Z to make it like, no, no, wait, wait, wait. One thing at a time. Um, let's, scale. Let's, let's scale it up until the middle of the sphere matches the, the end of the ball. Like that, grab, no, sorry, scale, scale, scale. Yeah, like that. Now, I mean, I like it. I don't know what you think, but I think it, yeah, I like that. Actually, it's supposed to be like, whoop. oh, I get that. I mean, I think I think we're getting close to it. My, maybe it's my guess, but, but I think we're getting what we need. So actually, I wouldn't scale. I was thinking of doing like this. Actually, that didn't look bad at all. Maybe just a bit. So now I'm gonna uh, use the key of forward slash to like isolate this thing. I'm gonna enter edit mode. I'm gonna go to faces, A to deselect everything, B to select in box view, box tool, select the whole thing above. Remember I'm in Z to like see up across things. X faces. Now I have just like half of the sphere. Um, I'm gonna select Shift Alt, Shift Option or whatever to select th this whole um, set of edges instead of going one, 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 one. You know, you can do Shift Alt. And then extrude and I hit Escape, but I have some these extra faces. Um, a scale, oh my God, Francisco, look at that. Okay, so this Bezier curve is actually the ball. Let's rename it as ball. I'm gonna hide it, the little I. And then here I'm gonna make sure that the socket is well enclosed. Um, so like, maybe like this. Actually, the light bulb is bothering me right now. Let me see it from the top. I wanna make sure these faces go close the socket, but not like across it, because then it wouldn't fit, right? Uh, let's see it from the front. Extrude in Z. 
you know what? Maybe here. Or do we want like the, the socket like fully inside? Maybe we want that. Maybe that looks cool. Maybe like here. And then the socket and the light bulb. We can bring it just a bit downward. Grab in the like that. Yeah, why not? Actually, why don't we check this out? Check this out. Uh, I'm gonna grab this thing. This ed these edges. I'm gonna extrude again, a scale again. Make sure. It goes close to like the shape of the final part of the socket. Um, and then extrude again in Z. Let's see it from here. Grab in Z. Grab in Z. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 the socket is almost there. Yep. Actually, it, I think we just need to bring it a bit lower. Yep, there it is. There you go, we got it. Uh, now, we need, actually, I'm gonna grab these faces. Grab in Z, just to make sure, like, they match here. Yeah, we're gonna trust our measurements because why not? And then we're missing a hole, right? To let it go out. And for that, mm, I think we can do a Boolean. That's gonna be the easiest way. Yeah. Oh, all right, so, all right, all right, all right. I think I need cable just to measure it. I have one here, okay. So we just need to make this uh, a complete um, enclosed mesh. For that, edges, this whole set of edges, and then fill. And that makes it a completely filled, I mean, enclosed mesh, if you know what I mean. I hope so. So it's enclosed, watertight. It's, it's, it's not open. That's what we need. Mm. And now I'm going to create a little um, cylinder that's gonna make a cut. First of all, I need another collection. Right click to scene collection, new collection. This collection number two is gonna, I'm gonna change it to the name mods, which is pretty much just like modifications. Just a place to have like all those things that are altering my things. That didn't make sense at all. Shift A, mesh cylinder. I'm pretty sure that the cylinder should be at least, I think the cable should be like, oh, let's see. I think eight millimeters is more than enough. So let's do that. Uh, so let's do eight, tap eight, a scale in Z, grab in Z. Move, oh wait, move, mods, and then this um, shape, I can do modifier, boolean, cylinder. <laughs> cylinder is, is not gonna make me remember it, so I'm gonna do cable cut. And that's it, I have a hole for the cable to go out. Now I need the feet, the feet of the thing. Three feet I think would work well, four. Uh, we're gonna play around to see which one looks better. But first, first we need one. So let's go to the front view, shift A. I'm gonna start with a cube. I scale it, grab it. No, I'm gonna need this to be from medium point. There you go. And then I'm gonna extrude, grab. All right, so that's a pretty lame um, 
food and it's interfering with my object so let's correct that let's hear from the front view let's grab these two um vertices grab let's put them here just to make sure we're not like interfering what's the design like it's like going outward so yeah so grab it's kind of like uh, kind of like that Control r to make a cut here and then grabbing z yeah i think that's kind of like whoop, what we want then i can do modifier um subdivision surface Ooh, and then go to edit mode grab uh, shift control no shift option there you go grab. yeah i like that better shift option yeah why not and now the base 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 which is this face right here i'm going to shift e to make it like flatter not not super flat but just flatter oh that's not nice that's like super lame no i, I don't think i like the shift e yeah i like it better that way and i'm gonna uh increment the amount of like solution so, so it's softer Actually, I think this shape right here also needs like some subdivision surface. Thing is, it's gonna subdivide everything. No, I think I'm fine with that one. <laughs> All right, so we got one feet, one foot, sorry. And now the um, light bulb and socket, we're gonna like um, hide them. We're gonna grab this, this, I'm gonna change the name to foot. I'm gonna move it here to collection. Now this is really tricky, the next part. Not tricky in a bad way, just there's a lot of mini steps. Shift C to make sure the cursor is at the center. Shift A to add an empty plane axis. Um, I'm gonna make this little origin, this orangey thing to go to this part, all right? And the, and the command is the following. Shift, Control, Alt, Z. Oh, C, sorry. Shift, Control, Option, C. It's like a super long um, command. I mean, you can also find it here. Object set origin is right here, but I know the shortcut. <laughs> uh, G origin to 3D cursor. There you go. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to add a new modifier for this foot saying array. I want how many? Four. I think four is going to look nice. Four. Um, factor, no, I don't want a relative offset. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to do an object offset. What's the object? The empty. And then it's, it's happening something weird here. Something I forgot to do is this thing should be, um, reset. W what I mean with reset is control A, reset all transfer, no, reset rotation and scale. And now the magic comes in. I have four, right? I said I wanted four. So now, because I want four distributed among 360 degrees, then what I need to do is to grab that empty and rotate it in Z. <gasps> oh my God, look at those feet coming. And I have to rotate it 90 degrees. So it's precise. Oh my God. Now, if I were to decide, you know what? No, actually I want it three one, three, three feet. Well, that, then it's gonna fall off to one side. Then the angle of the empty should be 360 divided by three instead of 90, 120, right? But I do prefer the four. And now something really cool you can do now is like modify it uh, and all of them are gonna be modified at the same time. Let's see, for example, if I uh, go here and I grab everything and I move it, I think that looks better. Yeah. Grab. Ah! You have to move it all in edit mode. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Let's see. Let's compare it. 
I don't know you, but I think we're getting somewhere. All right, now these feet are not yet connected to the base, so what we have to do is move it to the mods collection. <gasps> I don't see it anymore because the mods collection is is um it's um ah, it's hidden. The empty. I'm gonna move it here as well, and I'm gonna say, hey you, a sphere, which I should name body. Please add a boolean modifier union with foot. Oh my god, it's all connected now. Yay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. How much time do I have left? I think we're good. Um, now, I'm, I think I need to do the other thing that is going to have like the shadowing of, I mean like the, you know what I mean, the enclose the light bulb. So I'm going to turn on the bow, turn on the light bulb, the socket. Let's see how it's looking. Ooh, look at that. And the keyboard is going to come out from here. Yep, 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 yep. Now, let's do the other thing, and I think we're almost done. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. How do we make it so it doesn't move? All right, let's not worry too much. Shift C to make sure the cursor is in the center. Shift A, mesh, sphere. Make it big, 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 big. And then grab in V. We want something like that. Like that. Let's see your reference. A scale in C. Yeah. Gr grab. In V. Oof, I like that. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit isolation, A, B. I think these are going to be deleted. Oh, I love it. Yep. Let's see if it's correct. Grab and see. Now we have to make it a bit, I think I'm gonna expand it just a bit. No, no, I like like how it was. Add modifier, solidify, and I'm gonna make it just a bit thick. You have to make sure that at least it's like 0.4 millimeters thick because that's how the printer like works. So it's gonna be from here to here. So let's measure that. One millimeter. Yep, yep, that's great because it's gonna be two layers of plastic. Because the, the extruder of the plastic is 0 0.4, so 0 0.4, 0 0.4, that's gonna be one point, I mean 0.8. And it's gonna be like what it does. Love it. We just need to look for a cool like bluish plastic, which we do have, I think. Anyway, if we, no, we buy it. All right. And this is going to be called uh, Shade. I think we're done. I mean, I'm going to do an extra thing. Oh, look at that. Pretty. Light bulb, shade, bow, base. And I'm thinking, because of this design, there's something at the top. How much time do I have before class? Let me check. I still have time. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to sh uh, shift A, mesh, UV sphere, scale, gravity. I'm going to do a scale, shift C, so it scales. Oh, yeah. Like if I am complementing the um, the ball, that's what I need. Ooh, Francisco, great job. So remember the sphere, a scale, shift Z, and now check this out. Uh, B, oh wait, no, wait, A, B, X. Oh, so cool. A scale, shift Z. And now isolate. We need to make this uh, an actual closed object, so I'm going to go to edges, 
I use a command to open the edges, but remember they are here. Faces, edges. Shift Alt to select all of them. Fail F. There you go. Now we need a little like thingy that is like popping out. There are really cool ways to do it, which I don't remember. So I'm gonna do like a really primitive way, which is gonna be Shift A, Cube, Grab, Scale. Pretty much I'm gonna like just do it out of extrusion. Let's see it from here. Extrude, scale, grab, extrude, uh, scale, I guess, grab, rotate, extrude, scale, maybe? No, it's, yeah, maybe. Rotate, extrude. Yeah, does that look interesting? Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, subdivision surface. Oh, it's like more curvy. Graph. So you can just grab like this. Graph. Or like, yeah, I think I can do it like that. Yep. And now I can mm, I can just send this to mods. Well, first of all, let me do it like more soft. Yep. And then move these. Okay, what's the let's call this a little stem. The stem send it to mods. This is sphere. It's gonna call top. Top, we're gonna send it to collection. Let's change the name of collection to actual lamp. We have lamp and mods. And now top is going to have a boolean union with stem. And now that's a full piece. Ta -da! All right. Now let's export it. So file, export, STL. It's going to hollow lamp underscore top. Selection only. Apply modifiers. Export. Now let's grab the base, file, export, STL, hollow lamp, underscore, base. Um, and then this thing, the shade, file, export, ah, what, what, file, export, STL, Hollow lamp shade. There you go. Command S just to check save. And I think we're done. Great. How much was it? 38 minutes. Alright, good. So that's how you do the lamp. And if we print it, hopefully it'll work. Awesome. I'll see you in the next one.